word harpazo, which is found many times in the New Testament. Harpazo means to be caught up. Illustration. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 says, The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remaining shall be caught up. Greek word harpazo, removed to be in the presence of the Lord. This event can happen at any moment. What happens after that? Not long after the rapture of the church, it seems to me that this charismatic world leader will emerge on the scene that the Bible calls the beast, the son of perdition, what he's best known as Antichrist. The prefix anti doesn't just mean against, it also means instead of, instead of Christ. In other words, Antichrist will be a false Christ. Jesus said in Matthew 24, in the last days, many will come in my name saying, I am Christ and will deceive many. Antichrist will be a suave, charismatic, he'll bring economic solutions. He'll bring military what? solutions. He'll bring peace treaty that nations will actually abide by for three and a half years. He looks like a good guy, but soon it's revealed that he's really a bad guy. The worst guy that's ever been around. If Satan ever had a Yikes. son, it would be this man, the Antichrist, Yikes. because he inaugurates <laughs> what is called the uh -oh. tribulation period that lasts Here we for go again. seven years. First he comes with overtures of peace, then he shows his true oh, colors. My goodness. Everything culminates in a final battle there in the Middle East called the Battle of Armageddon. There the forces of the Antichrist face off with another force known as the Kings of the East. And during the Battle of Armageddon, Christ returns from heaven and what we call the Second Coming. Now, in the Bible, we have coming of Christ for the church in the rapture. In the Second Coming, we have the return of Christ with his church. The Bible says the Lord will come with ten thousands of his saints. We're also told in Scripture, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, we will appear with him in glory. So you might say, what goes up must come down. We're going to go up in the rapture. We'll return with Christ in the second coming. It's the ultimate holy man tour with Jesus as your tour guide. Jesus then establishes what is called the millennium. Millennium is a word that means 1,000. It's the 1,000 year reign of Christ. And ultimately, heaven and earth become one. Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer to pray. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Bible tells us that the Lord will bring heaven to earth in a way as we merge together. So let's think about what this means to us. Christ could come back at any moment. These events happening in the Middle East could escalate quickly and become something far more dramatic. So what should we do? Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, look up for your redemption is drawing near. Be aware, be alert. Now, when we talk about looking for Jesus, because the Bible says he'll return again for those who are looking for him, it doesn't mean we're standing around on street corners staring at the sun, which is not good for your eyes. It means that we're living lives that honor God, that we're seeking to please the Lord, that we're seeking to get the gospel out to as many people as possible. It means that we don't want to be doing anything we would be ashamed to be doing if Christ were to come back. Let me illustrate. I was giving a message on the return of Jesus and I asked the question, if Jesus came back today, are you doing anything you would be ashamed to be doing if he returned? A young woman named Crystal living in North Carolina heard this message <clears throat> as she was on her way to her job at Planned Parenthood where she actually assisted the doctor in performing abortions. Uh, Crystal was a believer, but obviously not walking with the Lord at the time. She said, as I was assembling the parts of the baby that had been aborted, I remember that statement, am I doing anything I would be ashamed to be doing if Christ were, were to return? Of course, she realized she was. She repented of her sin, she quit her job, and now Crystal works full time in the cause of pro-life and saving baby's lives. I ask you in closing, are you doing anything you would be ashamed to be doing if Jesus were to come back? If so, stop doing that. 
and instead like engage lying. yourself in things that honor and bring glory to God. Jesus is coming. Let's make sure we're ready because he could come back at any moment.